Hello everybody! We're going to need a piece of lined paper and a pencil. Can you pause the video and get the resources you need and then click play when you're ready? We're going to begin by singing the alphabet song. This helps us to practice our letter names. Today we're going to sing the alphabet to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle, but we're going to do it a little bit slower. Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me? Can you see that I have circled four of the letters that we've just sung in our song? Can you tell me all of their letter names? Can you start from the bottom and go up to the top? The first one is X, then it's N, H, and right at the top, it's the letter E. We're going to recall our common exception words now. I'm going to show you a word and I would like you to tell me what it is as quickly as you can. Look out for those phonic clues, but also watch out for those tricky parts. Remember, if it's going too quickly, you can just pause the video, have some thinking time and then continue. Well done everyone. Let's recall our sound. I'm going to show you a graphing, a letter written down, and I would like you to tell me the phoneme, the sound that it makes. Remember to do your actions as well. That helps us with our memory. Not only do we learn another new phoneme and grapheme on lesson five, we also learn a new common exception word. This is the word we. It's the word we. My turn. We, we, we. Your turn. We. We, we, we. Repeating this word lots of times will help it to go into our long term memory. Now, I wonder if we can use our sounds with this common exception word. Shall we try and sound it out and blend those sounds together and see if it makes the word we? W, e, w. Does that sound like the word we? Which is the tricky part? The E is the tricky part. We know it to make the phoneme E, eh, but in this word it's making the phoneme E. The W is the phonic clue. We need to remember that this is the word we. Oui. 
The letter name is Y, and the phoneme, the sound, is Y. Can you practice? Y, Y. Remember, we mustn't add a add a schwa on the end, so it mustn't be Y. It must be Y, 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 Y for yogurt. Can you think of any other words with the phoneme Y in them? Pause the video and click play when you've thought of some. I thought of the orange bit in the middle of an egg. Do you know what that's called? A yolk and a yo-yo. Have you ever played with a yo-yo? We're ready to write this graphing now. Can you see that the belly of this letter is sitting on the line? We need to remember that today. Now this is a long ladder letter. And this letter is so long that it does descend under the line. Can you see where the green dot is? That's where we need to start the letter. Let's put our finger on it. Are you ready? We're going to go down, up, down, under the line and flick. Let's try that again. Can you put your finger on the green dot? We're going to keep our pencil on the whole time today. Down, up, down, under the line and flick. I think we might be ready to write this now. Let's put our piece of paper in front of us. Make sure we've got a good writing position with our chairs tucked in. OK, pick up your pencil and put it in the middle of two lines on your piece of paper. Are you ready to make this long ladder letter with me? Let's go down, up, down, under the line and flick. Is your Y descending under the line? Is the belly of the, line, the Y sat on the line? Brilliant. Well, pause the video and see if you can do some more and then click play when you've mastered it. We are ready to practice reading some words with this grapheme in them. Before we read these words, there is something that is the same about each word. Think about the position of the y grapheme in each word. Is it at the beginning, the middle or the end? Can you sound out and blend the first word with me? Y S. Yes. Now the next word has got a digraph in it. I've used my sound buttons to help me to spot that digraph. Let's read it together. Y, E, O, Yell. And the final word also has a digraph in it. I have underlined it and used my sound buttons to help me to spot that digraph. Let's read it together. Y, a, k, yuck. Can you think of something that you think is yuck? Maybe it's something you don't like to eat. I'm going to see if we can write some y words now. At the top, I have got a picture of a vegetable that you might not have ever seen before. It looks a little bit like a sweet potato. And this vegetable is called a yam. Let's stretch out the word yam. Y, a, m, yam. Let's put it on our phoning fingers. Y, a, m, yam. Can you write it down? Have you added your sound buttons?
The next picture is of a large ox and it has a shabby mane. This large ox can also be called a yak. Let's stretch out the word yak to segment and hear all of the sounds in yak. Y -a -k. Yak. Phoneme fingers. Y -a -k. Yak. Can you write it down? The grapheme for the phoneme k in this word is a kicking k. The final word we are going to write is the word yum. Let's stretch out the word yum. Y -a -m, yum. And on your phoneme fingers? Y -a -m, yum. Can you write that down? I'm going to show you the answers now, but if you're not quite ready, then just click pause and click play when you're ready to check your spellings. Can you tick or fix your spellings? Yam has Y-A-M. Yak is spelt with Y-A-K. And yum is spelt with Y-U-M. I've got a question for you to read now. How did I know this was a question? Yes, it's got a question mark at the end, hasn't it? Now, can you see any y words in this question? How many Y's can you see? Can you count them? Did you see all three? Can you sound out and blend this question? Click pause and give yourself time to do that. But could you do it three times so that in the end you're reading it really fluently? Then click play. Let's read it together. Can a yak yap and yelp? Let's read it with prosody. That means we're going to be using our expressive voices, thinking about our tone. And because it's a question, we're going to make our voices go higher at the end. Can you read it with me? Can a yak yap and yelp? Hmm, what do you think? Can this yak yap? And yelp. Well done, everybody. We now have an understanding of the grapheme that represents the phoneme y. I look forward to teaching you another grapheme and phoneme next time. I wonder if you can remember today's common exception word as well when I show you next time. Remember, it's the word we.